Wednesday. Yeah, happy Wednesday, everybody. It is Kim Q of DailyQtips.com coming at you out of Atlanta, Georgia. It's a pretty nice day today, guys. It was a great day yesterday, though. Not too hot, not too cold. A little bit of wind, a little bit this, a little bit that. And um, an awesome event. But anyway, I wanted to talk to you guys about not caring what anybody thinks. Because with what I do, direct sales, this profession... Um, often what will happen is, hey, welcome welcome to the video. Thank you for joining. What will happen is that people will, um, what was that, Sesh, Sesh, comma two? Well, that's a nice name. What will happen is that people will tell you, don't worry about what your prospect thinks. Don't worry about what people in the streets think. Um, and while you shouldn't worry about that, guys, you really shouldn't worry about what anybody thinks. That includes your family. That includes your friends. That includes your business partners sometimes. That includes competitors. That includes sometimes even yourself. <laughs> hey, what's going on, Netta, Cynthia, um, and Teresa and Amanda? But I'm telling you, you cannot worry about what people think. You know why? Because everybody has the right to their own opinion. And half the time, someone's opinion is based on their perspective, which is not totally true sometimes. And we often don't know the we often don't know when we don't know the truth now i like to operate in truth i can do better with truth than a lie that i think is true but some people can't handle truth and if you know that then that is what helps you keep that frame of mind i'm telling you right now when i look at <clears throat> the training that we go through and people say don't worry about what people think i take that literally I don't worry about what anybody thinks. Now, I'm not going to try to purposefully hurt anybody's feelings. So don't, of course, take that statement and run with it. But I'll tell you this. I'm not worried about when, when I know, and I've said this before, when you're talking with a prospect or anybody and you know that you're coming from a place of good intentions, you don't have to worry about it. It doesn't matter who the person is. It doesn't matter if the person is a multimillionaire. If you're talking to a lawyer and you're like, well, why would they want this opportunity? You never know. And that's why you've got to expose yourself to other things. You've got to talk to people <clears throat> all over in your industry. Because if you start doing that, if you take it seriously, then what will happen is you will find that there are all types of people who will find what you have in your hand in the form of an opportunity or what you have to say hey will jeffries what's going on pamela hey d'angelo there are all types of people who if you know what you're talking about and if it makes sense to them now some there's none so blind as he who will not see right but if you can articulate yourself in a way to let somebody know that you that you know what you're talking about and it makes sense to them it doesn't matter if you're the lowest man on the totem pole and you're talking to a lawyer or a doctor they'll be like hmm maybe I should take a look at this more there's like story after story after story in this profession of someone who got like a big person in their opportunity or their company and they were surprised so you should never discount yourself and what you have to say and what you have to offer a lot of times people are only only thinking about or responding to you based on their perspective and half the time they don't know what they're talking about <laughs> <laughs> they don't know what they're talking about because they don't have the the, the experience. Hey, um, Peggy, they don't have the experience or the knowledge that you do. And if you really, really stop and think about it, first of all, the closer you get to something, the more you'll find out about it. You can doubt that if you like to, but it's really just the truth. We all know there's been times when you probably dated somebody and you were like, ooh, yes, I want to marry them. And then you marry them and you're like, what the heck? This is not what I signed up for. You know what? Because now you're closer to them. So you see the real deal. There are times when you've probably wanted a certain job or how about, I know everybody on this video can relate to this. How about if you lived with your parents, right? Everybody, when they lived with their parents, they were like, hey, what's going on, Kenneth Estes? They were like, Oh, I can't wait to get out of the house. And then you get out of the house and you find out this ain't all that it was cracked up to be. Or this is not what I thought it was. So, guys, the closer you get to something, that's when you really find out whether what you thought it was really is that. And if you don't, if you, oh, I thought the little one was coming in. If you find out that something is not what you thought it was, then you don't have to be afraid to say that. And if you find out a truth that you thought no if you find out that what you thought was a lie is the truth right like <laughs> oh yeah now oh yes we all miss living with our parents now but hey tracy nichols but yeah if you find out something guys like i used to think the mlm was a scam 
I used to think that it was a get rich thing. I used to think that, um, yeah, only the people at the top made the money. I used to think a whole bunch of stuff that I am now honestly, hey Malachi, what's going on? But I used to think a whole bunch of stuff about this profession that I'm embarrassed to admit now. But it was really because I didn't know what I didn't know. So now when I'm talking to someone, if they say, oh, that's not true, it doesn't bother me. If somebody is watching any one of my videos and they think that what I'm saying is not true, it doesn't bother me. Because I know they're only speaking from their perspective. And a lot of times, the very things that someone is doubting are things that I once doubted. I get it. I totally mm -hmm. get it. Unfortunately, sometimes you have to find out things the hard way. And if you listen to those people, hey Toya, hey Carrie, if you listen to those people, those people that will make you doubt yourself, then what you'll do is you'll end up shooting yourself in the foot and you'll end up going backward instead of forward. What you've got to do is educate yourself, find out for yourself what is really truth and what is really a lie. And then when you find out the truth, stand by the truth. It doesn't matter who comes against you because that's the only way you really can win. One of the people that I follow in this industry and he is he is truly successful. Please tell me y'all know about Ray Higdon. Okay? Ray Higdon has made uh last year he had what two or three months where he made over a million just from his blog. This is a man who has built up his influence from nothing. And at the time that he started six years ago, he was like in foreclosure. He I mean he had like one of the worst stories ever and this man was doing videos and people in his company were like who do you think you are who are you to try to tell people how to get leads who are you to try to tell people this who are you to try to tell people that like people not only in his company but in other companies because what was happening is he was just putting out general information for people and people were he talks about this all the time people were coming to him and they were knocking him like you haven't been on stage yet. You don't have results. You don't have this. And what Ray Higdon always says, and I started I started subscribing to his philosophy of how to obtain success about a year ago. What Ray Higdon says that I absolutely love and I strongly encourage all of you guys to follow this philosophy is if you are waiting for success to have success, then you'll be waiting forever. Right. If you're waiting to stand on previous success for you to have success, you'll be waiting forever because it's like what comes first, the chicken or the egg. Right. It's just like when you go to apply for a job and you like, how do I get it? You won't hire me because I don't have experience. But how do I get experience if you won't hire me? So I always laugh when people say, um, hey, well, what do they have? And what I, I told y'all guys before, too, this was weeks ago. Don't always follow up behind somebody because of their rank. I don't care what company you're in because you don't know if they're still actively that rank or not. You don't know how they got that rank. You don't know a whole bunch of stuff. What you should just do is take things for face value. That's what you should do. And if somebody says something and it, and it adds up to you or it makes sense, then that would be the time you might say, hmm, hmm maybe I should at least consider this instead of just being blinded by your own beliefs, which half the time are based on lies. And this is a lesson that I've had to learn myself the hard way because sometimes we can get so caught up in the hype of what society to us or what our previous experiences with other people have been that we don't face the facts of what's going on right now. Nothing really equals knowledge. A lot of times it's itself for knowledge. You have to tell people Okay, I'm sorry, message is coming through. Y'all heard that. But yeah, just take people for face value. Y'all stop worrying about, and, and, and I say this too because like people inboxed me some things recently and I appreciate the good comments and, and stuff and I understand why people were, I guess, like scared to comment on my page because, you know, you don't want any stuff and you shouldn't have, nobody should be afraid of anybody or to say anything. This is a free world. Facebook is a free platform. Um, all social media is, right? But, I mean, I also understand that different people are in different places in their life. But, guys, I promise you this. If you worry about what your prospects say, people on the street who don't know anything about your business, don't know anything about you, oh, that's a scam. That does. I have people right now telling me that our products don't work. Well, who am I going to believe? Am I going to believe a complete stranger or am knowing that I lost 25 pounds on the products? You know, would I let a complete stranger shake me? No, I have people that are upset with me because of things I've said recently and they don't even know me. <laughs> mm -hmm. So why would I get back upset with, why would I get upset back at them? For what? 
they they're going based on their experience i'm going based on mine and that's the same thing that you should do not just with prospects but also with your family members your family members that are not in the business don't let them tell you about your business just don't hey Tiffany oh I missed you too I really did hey Jeff what's going on Michelle Corners hey Bruce but yeah guys don't let anybody shake you um hey Chessie boo congratulations on the baby but don't let anybody shake you from telling your truth you don't have to be the biggest person in the world um there's so many stories I don't have to go through all of them all these people that overcome you know times when they were at the lowest or nobody paid attention to them and then they blew up Oprah Michael Jordan, you guys know, you, you know all of these stories. So if somebody ever comes ac across you and tries to make you feel less than because you haven't done what they've done or you um, don't have the results that they have yet, and don't stress about that. You also, you, you kind of sort of have to laugh at it because at one time, everything that was big once started small. So, hey, Uncle Phil, hey, hey, thank you for joining. But yeah, everything that is big once started small. And like I said, I just keep top of mind what Ray Hayden said when all of the leaders were coming against him and trying to shut him up because he didn't have a check or he wasn't a rank in the company yet. He just kept going and he said, I'm not worried about it. If what I am doing is so insignificant or if you think it has no value, then why are you worried about it? And when Ray Higdon said that, I was like, dang, that's actually pretty good. It, it, I don't see Oprah worrying about anybody. <laughs> Anybody who's saying anything about her. I don't see Beyonce worrying about anybody mm -hmm. who's saying anything about them. The only time people will get upset when you're saying some, something is if they think what you are saying is of value and they don't want people to hear it. So don't worry about it. The only reason why society still tries to hold MLM down and reporters are running around doing all these reports on some of our sister companies, which I've seen some of the broadcasts, I hate I hate some of the things that are put out there because they just basically perpetuate this myth that MLM is a scam and, you know, all that crap. But the only reason why the reporters are doing that stuff is because they don't want mm -hmm. people to feel like there's a way out. There's a way that all of this is orchestrated. I'm not a conspiracy theory person, but jobs came about in the industrial age and the way that they found that they that was easiest to get us to give up our entrepreneurial spirit and go into a system was to keep us deaf down you know dumb unhealthy uneducated so that basically whatever they were feeding you that's what you would take as the truth and you wouldn't go out and find the truth for yourself and guys there are some people in your life that still think that way they've been fed certain things or they've had certain experiences that are long gone but they're still living in the past of when a college degree meant something or they're still living in the past of when a job was secure or they're still living in the past of when that boss was a good boss but I'm telling you guys if you when when the good gets bad when the milk sours, don't you keep drinking it. <laughs> if you got a boyfriend who's cheating on you, you better go. If you got a girlfriend who's stealing all your money for the red bottoms, you better exit. If you got a business partner who just lost their mind and went rogue, you better throw up them deuces. So, <laughs> when the milk sours, stop drinking it and in the meantime if somebody criticizes you because you're no longer you know sipping that juice or on that stuff or drinking somebody else's kool-aid don't worry about it okay don't let anybody make you feel <laughs> you said oracle of tlc <laughs> that's you uncle phil but don't make anybody i'm wrapping up guys don't make anybody make you feel bad don't make anybody pop your mm -hmm. balloon steal your joy none of that stuff at the end of the day all you have to do, hey, Kim Beckford, and that's my friend Kim Beckford. She did her first video this weekend, and some of her uh, friends and family members, I think they were jokingly, they jokingly mocked her on her video. I had to jump on her thread and set them straight for her. But, Kim, you keep shooting videos, and don't let them make fun of you. And all of y'all on the broadcast, don't let anybody make fun of you, talk about you, make you feel like you should you know regress no you keep marching forward as long as you know that you're not doing anything with malicious intent all you can do is try to show people the light if they want to stay in the darkness then that is them don't be mad at them either because sometimes when you're in the dark you know do you know there are actually some people that are like you know if my spouse is cheating on me i prefer not to know do you know that 
There are people that actually say that. I would prefer not to know. There are people that have these ideas in their head that somebody is so good that they don't want to know. They don't want to know if the person is bad because it will mess up. It will throw their whole their whole world off. And respect that. Ah, uh, Zonio Medrano, she said, Hermos, hermosos consejos. Gracias, mi chiquitita. Y lo siento que no, no, no nos conocimos en la... la. Lie. What is it? Convención. I'm so sorry we missed each other. But yeah, guys, there are some people that they don't want the light. So if you come with a big old, you know, Home Depot flashlight or, you know, a construction worker light, they're going to shy away like a gremlin because <laughs> they don't want the light. So that's perfectly fine. In due time, if it's ever their time, then that's when they'll find out the truth. And for those who want to live in untruths, then that's fine. Let them do that. But that doesn't mean that you can't tell the truth. And it definitely doesn't mean that you shouldn't be like scared to tell the truth or do the things that you want to do and go out there and be you. So that's all I have to say. Thank you all for <laughs> Hey Gloria Reed. Uh, everybody's giving likes. I appreciate it. Kim, I look forward to your next video. Y'all shoot videos. Go out there. And whatever company you are in, go out there and unapologetically mm -hmm. share it with people because there's somebody who's going to appreciate you no matter whether you have a big check or you're not there yet all right see y'all in the next video bye mm -hmm. <laughs>